What is going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. This is episode 3 of Miami Dolphins franchise on Madden 20 or week 1, not or end. It, it's the it's both of them. It's a big episode because I don't know if you guys watched all the way through last episode, but it was important that you did because some things changed. One, we signed Alan Hearns. I think I tried to get that at the start of the episode. We'll see how that ends up working out. But I've also made the move to all Madden. Now, all pro just felt a little bit too easy, and the way that we're going to figure this thing out is we're going to do all Madden, play a couple games this season, and then scale the sliders accordingly. So we'll try to find out what slider set works the best over this first season. It will be a fun learning experience for, for uh, me as well as you guys, potentially. But we got to set the lineup for... Season number one, we have to set the depth chart. That is the first thing that's going to happen in this episode. And I also told you guys that we would be making some trades. Now, some guys that I'd like to move, potentially, Ryan Fitzpatrick. I know it'd be tough to see Fitzmagic go, but I want Rosen in his star development to take over as a starting quarterback. And whatever happens, happens. Albert Wilson. I just don't think there's a need for him on this team. He does have star development. He's 27 years old. He should have some value on the open market might be uh, a good idea to trade him and then maybe i think we'll hold on to alan hearns and obviously i like jakeem grant and i want preston williams to get some targets i think albert wilson might be the odd man out when you look at the offense and then defensively i hate to say it but i think rashad jones has to go he's an 83 overall He's almost an 84. Maybe we'll play a game with him and look to trade him next episode because that'd be a big trade. But he's 31. He's going to regress. He's not in the future of this team, unfortunately. I'd rather get somebody else out there. And I know that sucks because he's been arguably uh, the best player on this team over the past few years, but he's got to go. We're also going to change the scheme to a 4-3 just so it, it looks better. I could just move Christian Wilkins over to right end or something like that, but uh, I think it's going to look better when we're in the 4-3 and then Jerome Baker plays all the time and Raekwon McMillan plays all the time instead of having one as a sub linebacker. So we're just going to go ahead and change the scheme a little bit. All right, it looks a little bit better this way at least. And that means guys like Nate Orchard can slide down to play right end where he's going to be a little bit better. Nate Orchard's a pass rusher. I mean, let's not call him anything else. He is a pass rusher and he could probably start at right end right away and be a decent overall. He's probably going to be significantly better than Tank Carradine actually. He might even go up into like a 73 overall territory. This will be interesting to see if he goes up. I really feel like he will. 69, nice. All right, not. I thought it'd be higher. That's kind of strange, but whatever, irrelevant. All right, so the trade that I've decided to make is sending Albert Wilson and Akeem Spence, as well as a fourth round pick next year to the Giants for their first round pick this year. That now gives us two first round picks in 2020. And I like that trade a lot. The Giants get a, a receiver, of course. If you guys have been following the Giants, I'm a Giants fan. Uh, very recently, Golden Tate, four-game PED suspension. Sterling Shepard, broken thumb. Corey Coleman, torn ACL. Those were at least your top two receivers. You can debate about Corey Coleman, whether he's in the top three or top five or whatever. But uh, it's a yikes. They get Albert Wilson now to kind of take the load off. Speaking quite candidly, Kiko Alonso's cap hit is unbelievable. It's about six and a half million per year. And we're making a gigantic trade here, trading a lot of value to the Jets. I think we're getting a lot of value in return though. Kiko Alonso, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Dwayne Allen for a first round pick from the Jets. That's going to be the last trade I make here of this episode. Rashad Jones might be leaving in the next episode, but um, Josh Rosen is now our one hope at quarterback. Mike Gesicki is now upgraded to our starting tight end with Dwayne Allen leaving. And the other player I traded is, I'm going to remember it in a second here. Trust me, I will. Kiko Alonso, that's right. Yeah. All right. So Mike Hull is now a starting outside linebacker. Let's go ahead and dip into free agency, maybe. Are we going to sign a backup quarterback? And that backup QB is going to be Josh Dobbs, former Tennessee volunteer and Pittsburgh Steeler. He is now going down to Miami. And I saw someone earlier that I liked quite a bit. It was uh, Tyus Bowser. Now, is he listed at left outside linebacker? He is. Tyus Bowser is an easy sign for me. Former uh, Houston Coug. And he's 24 years old. Really, really solid athlete. And I think that's going to help him play in our scheme pretty easily. So, Tyus Bowser is now on the team. 
those are the moves for episode one. And I think they've actually made us uh, at least better in long term. Tyus Bowser, 84 speed, 76 finesse move, decent enough tackling, not exactly a cover guy, but we can have him rushing off the edge every once in a while. I definitely don't want him to be a primary edge rusher. I want him to be a hybrid style player. So we're going to move him over, use an upgrade point, and get into week one. All right, get a good look. This is the team for season number one, or at least week one. As I said, I'm looking to move for Shad Jones. That's just the reality. Larmy Tunsil, Michael Dieter, Daniel Kilgore. Uh, I always forget this dude's name. Jesse Davis at right guard. Jordan Mills at right tackle. Isaiah Prince might rotate in at some point. We'll see how guys play. Mike Kosicki, Nick O'Leary, Durham Smythe are the tight ends. Wide receivers, we got Kenny Stills, Devontae Parker, Alan Hearns, Jakeem Grant, and Preston Williams. And the backfield makes up of uh, Josh Rosen, Josh Dobbs. Ooh, that's, I didn't even notice that. Kenyon Drake, Caitlin Balage, Mark Walton Jr. And then, of course, the fullback Chandler Cox, the rookie out of Auburn. And then on the defensive side of the ball, we have... Please load. We have Minka Fitzpatrick, TJ McDonald, Walt Akins, Rashad Jones... What is your name? Maurice Smith. I thought it was Maurice. Maurice Smith in the uh, safety group. Cornerbacks, Avian Howard, Bobby McCain, Eric Rowe, Tory McTire, and Cordrea Tankersley. With the linebackers, Tyus Bowser, Mike Hole, Raquan McMillan, Andrew Van Ginkle, who I might move up, honestly, um, instead of Chase Allen. How good are you? 86 speed. Nah, we might keep him. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Jerome Baker, I believe it's Tyrone Holmes. Tyrone Holmes out of Montana. And the defensive line is Nate Orchard, Jonathan Woodard, Jonathan Ledbetter, Devon Godshaw, Vince Taylor, Christian Wilkins, Tank Carradine, Charles Harris in there as well. So that is the team. Special teams, Matt Hawk, Jason Sanders. Kick returner is going to be Jakeem Grant. Hawk will get kickoff specialist duties. Uh, and Daniel Kilgore will be the long snapper. As far as a specialist goes, I want Christian Wilkins in a lot. I really do. He's going to be a rush defensive tackle. And Charles Harris, rush right end, Jerome Baker, sub linebacker. All right, we are in business. This is a good, it's not a good team, but uh, it is a team. Jakeem Grant's going to be the slot. Kalen Blodge, power. Kenny Drake, third down running back. Let's get in to our week one matchup against the Baltimore Ravens at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. I know a long prelude, but let's go out and get it done. Could be a tough matchup. We're a little bit outclassed here by the 80 overall Baltimore Ravens, but we've got more heart. We'll see if that counts for anything. Here is the kickoff from Hawk, and the 2019 season is officially underway. All Madden Sim, let's see how it plays. Of course, the uh, slider changes will be made over the course of this thing. We'll just have to see how it feels and adjust accordingly. Also, would not be entirely opposed to um oh you idiot opposed to making the time go up but that's gonna be easy reads green eggs and ham user pick for Raekwon McMillan that's what I'm talking about man easy reads are back and in a big way Lamar Jackson just threw it right to me All right, I don't really know what that was was that Earl Thomas in the backfield it wasn't it was uh, Tavon Young. He closed so quickly on that flat. That could have easily been a turnover. I think we got lucky there. Throw that. Rosen finds Kenny Stills over the middle. First down. Perfect on the day. Two for two. 22 yards. It's early, but I'm liking what we're seeing. Play action. Wow. I don't... Looked almost like a read option. Pernell McPhee makes the sack. I don't know what was happening at all there. It was an RPO. We just... I, I don't... It was... I gotta figure out how those work better in this game. I'm, they're still fresh. I'm still new. I'm pressing triangle. I accidentally pump faked. Welcome to the series. I'm not very good at the game. That's an unfortunate sack. And it's gonna set us up for a field goal try here. And the kick is up and good. Right down the middle. We're going to take a 3-0 lead over the Ravens. Oh my gosh, what is happening? 
What is happening? Somebody bring him down! You have got to be kidding me. Minka, chase him down from behind, please. Went for the strip. We weren't in range. What is that? Mark Ingram uh, takes it 76 yards to the house. I thought we had him wrapped up about seven times. This could be a long season, actually. Play action. I want triangle, man. Ah. Michael Pierce got in there. Our offensive line's bad. I got to get rid of the ball a lot quicker, especially when a blitz is coming in. Play action probably not going to be the best. Running the ball feels like not a great decision here either. I say we got to get rid of the ball quickly, and then I call four verts. We're just going to check down. Okay, we're not, because Rosen has no accuracy, apparently. Uh, this, this could be a long season. It's like a blitz off that right side there. And it is. We just have to throw it quickly. But it's Mike Gesicki. Mike Gesicki has space. He's fighting off would-be tacklers. And it gets us just short of the first down. Fourth and two from the 33. I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to punt here. To come so close, we're just, uh, we're just backed up too far. Failing to convert would be disastrous. So the best punter on YouTube is back. And Mudhawk booms it deep to the 15. Jackson going to take off. Wow, he is unbelievably fast. He covered ground so quickly. That's going to be a problem if he decides he wants to do that this game. Because I'm not going to be able to stop that. There's just no way. He's going to run again. I mean, there's just, there's absolutely nothing I can do. He is down. That's what we can do. We can play dirty. I like it. Bounty gate point two or 2.0. Good stuff, Charles. How about a bonus? Going to the sideline. Got to be an interception, and it is. Savian Howard led the league in picks last year. Here he is in week one, starting his count up early. RG3 ensures that the ball is going right back the other way. Let's retake the lead. And Kenyon Drake goes down. Looks to be a wrist injury. Kalen Balaj will take over the duties. Rosen on play action. Heavy pressure, inaccurate. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks. It wasn't even it wasn't even close. Uh, Tony Jefferson with the interception. Josh Rosen airmailed it about 30 yards away from the intended receiver. And uh, now the ball's going right back the other way again. Back to back picks here. It's fantastic. It's a great play in the backfield though. That's Tyus Bowser, the new signee. Kenyon Drake with a bruised elbow. We're gonna see what Kalen Balaj can do. Intercepted, jumped the route. All right, Bobby McCain was all over him. Did they get enough for the first down? It's going to be fourth and one. Rykard was the receiver and caught it just about half a yard short, maybe a full yard. And they're going to settle for a long field goal. It is the best kicker in the league in Justin Tucker. So if anyone's going to make it, it would be him. And he destroys it. That, was, that looked so easy. Baltimore up by a touchdown. Oh, Gesicki breaks a tackle. He's strong, man. Got to keep giving him the football. Oh, my goodness. Not exactly accurate. We had Kenyon Drake, though. Just uh, the pass is not thrown in the correct area. <laughs> Almost picked off. Off the hands of Kenyon Drake. Third and five. Kenyon Drake back in the game. She's going to throw underneath, and it's... Uh, just inaccurate for some reason. Josh Rosen uh, struggling a little bit here, man. What is going on? I don't know what happened. It looked like we had Marky Room in the backfield and he wouldn't go down because he was resting on the back of... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know who that was, but a Miami defensive lineman. 
And looks like the ball got ripped out, but it was overturned. What a weird play. Let me jump offside, see if fuck. Oh, that's a great lob pass, man. Right over the head of Jerome Baker. Right in front of the safety, Rashad Jones. You guys, what is happening? You're frozen? <laughs> Pressure's coming in. Down goes RG3. It's Tyus Bowser again making a big play. He's proven to be quite the signing so far. We get, we're all over that. Jerome Baker, great open field tackle. Mark Ingram has nowhere to go. And Baltimore should look to punt here. Alright, Jakeem Grant back to return. He's going to have a shot at this one. We're going to have to call a fair catch, though. No? I press triangle. Is that not a fair catch anymore? Okay. And Kenyon Drake is injured again. There it is. Kenny Stills, big catch. Now, we maybe had Alan Hearns out wide left. Just, I thought Kenny Stills was getting open quicker, and with this offensive line, we really have to focus on getting the ball out a lot quicker. I just didn't really want to wait for the wheel to develop and maybe get undercut by Earl Thomas. I thought Kenny Stills was the right move on that one. As we're going to look to follow blockers here, and can't really. Kenny Drake, high ankle sprain. So he is now out completely for the game. Do we need to tone the injury slider down a little bit? I think we do. Man. Sacked again by Michael Pierce. This offensive line is absolute garbage, man. I don't really feel like I'm taking too long to get the ball out on some of these plays. Some of them, yeah, probably, but... I, I gotta wait for the routes to develop and no one's getting open. Gotta throw that. It's completely inaccurate and it's intercepted again. That's Marlon Humphrey. Kalen Balaj looks absolutely huge out there. Uh... The combination of the receivers not getting open, <laughs> the offensive line being terrible, and Josh Rosen being extremely inaccurate is making it really tough to move the ball, especially when we can't run. Throwing short and into the end zone for the touchdown. That's Mark Andrews. That's a tough one, man. Uh, Baltimore going to go up 17-3, to it looks like, here with 2.56 to go in the half. We're trying to hang in here, but it's, uh, it's a little tough right now. But we knew this wouldn't be easy. It's a 68 overall team against an 80. This first season is uh, certainly not going to be a cakewalk. And the Ravens are unforgiving right now. Even with RG3. Oh, that's good blocking. Balazs, showcase some of that power. He's just... Can't really. And Tony Jefferson now down with an injury. I don't know what he's doing there. It looks like he's jerking off on the field. Is that your injury? You gotta go jerk off in the locker room? Gross. That's wide open, man. Rosen finds Nick O'Leary. And he's still going, refusing to go down. Members of the Ravens sideliners stepping out onto the field. And Earl Thomas cannot catch Nick O'Leary. That's a little bit of a weird animation there, but it's a nice 69-yard touchdown for the former former Florida State tight end. Staying in state, I like it. Suddenly, we're right back in this game. Would have been nice to make that hit stick there with uh, Rashad Jones and Mark Egger. Maybe the football comes loose, but he just bounces right off. Give me it. Give me it. Oh, my goodness. Just out of reach. Almost had it with Jerome Baker. I think we could stand to turn down uh, CPU quarterback accuracy. RG3 is 10 of 12 on the day. I know we don't have the best uh, of secondaries there as Jerome Baker comes in the backfield to make a great tackle on the screen. But he is uh, he's not missing at all. And Josh Rosen who is probably similarly rated, if not a higher overall, is uh, just completely terrible. Every pass is errant. It's just the worst. 
It's another screen, and that one's complete, but Jerome Baker follows it again, and we're actually going to call a timeout. We might be able to do something with 56 seconds and two timeouts here as the Ravens are going to try a long field goal. Justin Tucker drilled this earlier, though, so it shouldn't be any issue. I think we're going to be looking at 20-10 to 10 Baltimore with about 50 seconds to score, and that is the situation. 48 seconds in a dream. Please make that throw for Gesicki. Uh, all right. That looks like a blitz coming in. We're going to say that Earl Thomas can't cover everybody. He still might be able to, though. Either Gesicki or Grant could be wide open. It's going to be Gesicki. Throw it quickly. Thank you. First down. Uh, we're going to call a timeout. The arm strength of Josh Rosen also hurts a little bit. It's not like it's anything crazy. Um, kind of just have to throw it away. I know circle broke open. There was no chance we were ever going to make that throw. There we go. Kenny Stills first down. Uh, we're going to have to go into the hurry up here. I want to save that timeout, and that took a lot of time off the clock. I thought it would take a lot less, but it didn't. And we got Gasicki though. He's going to go down. Timeout. One second to go, and uh, we will settle for the field goal try. Kick is up, and kick is good. Down by seven going to the half. Not bad. Not bad. Probably about right where I expected, to be honest. And we get the football back. That was a very, very big field goal. That was a great drive. That's open. Please, it's undercut again, man. Go for the ball, Allen. Kalen Balazs has two tackles too many in this game. Marlon Humphrey gets another pick. I feel like he's got a step on him, and then the ball is just not there, and then he's undercut. Happened twice now. And that is open. Mark Andrews with touchdown number two of the game. Brutal. Baltimore are just taking advantage of us. There we go, Kalen. That's a good run. I was about to say uh, we're being taken advantage of like a sorority girl at a frat party, but now we're actually getting some positive things going for us. This is good. Back over the middle, Rosen, please! Finds Gasicki, fall forward! We're going for it. It's going to be fourth and inches from midfield. I mean, that's fourth and one. That's an absolute go for it situation. Has to be. We're not punting here. Are you kidding me? The thing is, I just don't feel like we can run the ball. It has not been nearly effective enough. I know that sucks, but I really wish we could run the ball here. They know what it is. Underneath, Kenny Stills, man. Dude, the linebacker over the middle, I believe that was Patrick Owasu. Uh, or Owasso, excuse me. He's covered everything there. I mean, that was, that was a tough pass to complete. Rolling out with Rosen. I want circle, man. We're going to go for it. Downfield to, for Devontae Parker. It's picked off by Earl Thomas. I mean, he just... I knew he wouldn't have the arm strength. I don't know why I risked that. That was just foolish. It's a good play by Jerome Baker. Obviously, I didn't want that to be led over like far to the left i wanted it to stay over the middle of the field but like a big rule of playing quarterback and i know this you know as well as anyone don't go late over the middle of the field it will never work out and uh, i went real late over the middle of the field deep middle and uh it really didn't work out but our defense is holding tight here third and 11 need a big stop target me that's going outside of the left intercepted by Xavier Howard let's go baby second pick of the game good blocks developing as well we're back in a dolphin or me in a Baltimore Raven territory big pick by Xavier Howard is second of the game again I mean that's fantastic nickel double a gap here's a blitz we're gonna throw the running back Kalen Balaj. power through man this is the worst power back of all time he is not fun to use at all at all he doesn't go through anybody he doesn't break any tackles it sucks he's just he gets tackled every time and he's not fast or agile
I've thrown the ball. Oh my god, Kalen Balaj has it now. I don't even. I don't even know what just happened. That was uh, really bad. Tried to throw the ball. It took way too long, and now it sets up a 49-yard field goal. After uh, Balaj probably keeps us in field goal range, to be honest. That was a clutch play to grab it, and I think I might have missed this one. Off the off the bar. Yep. Off the post. Sick. Oh god. Oh, it's an RPO. It's type of screen. Jerome Baker says, uh, nope. It's a run to the fullback, man. He's like 310 pounds. Who's supposed to tackle him? It's gonna be a run. McMillan in the backfield. It's actually Andrew Van Ginkel who makes the tackle. I just field goal is tough for us here because uh, I think it probably puts it out of reach. Thirty to thirteen. Tucker's been incredible. Earl Thomas is uh, in X Factor mode. I kind of don't want to throw at him at all, so we're gonna go anywhere else. And that's a that's a blitz I got in very very quickly. Brandon Carr looked like it was a nickel blitz of sorts, and uh, we got to go for it. We don't really have a choice. Game on the line. You can definitely say that. Play action. I'd like Gasicki, but uh, I'm gonna go for Kenny Stills instead. And that is probably gonna be the ball game. I don't I don't really know what to do there. Nothing got open, and or I missed it because I'm bad. But that's the way she goes. Field goal from Justin Tucker is good once again. 33-13 Ravens. This has not been a great debut for the boys, but we're a really bad team, so I do expect to lose a lot of games, unfortunately. Well, I went for an RPO, and uh, I, I did not make the right option read. That's a pick six. Rosen's fifth pick of the game. Some of these are on me. I, I, I know that. I'm aware. That was one of them. 40 to 13. Just take knees for the rest of the game, dude. And Kenny still fumbles a fucking ball. It's, it's crazy, dude. And nothing's going my way at all. I finally get an open receiver. It's Kenny Stills, and they rip the football out. And Mark Andrews, touchdown number three of the game. <laughs> it, uh, it, we're just we're just getting thrashed here in the second half. We're going one on one for Devontae Parker. Can't haul it in. We've moved the entire length of the field pretty much just from penalties. I need to scale those down a lot. Face masks happen far too frequently. And injuries happen too frequently, in my opinion. As we go for Gasicki, who's the only guy who gets open even somewhat consistently on this team. Five interceptions is disgusting. Uh, but Gasicki goes over 100. And that's a, it's a tip pass. It gets intercepted. That's number six of the game. That was a bad read. Um, Marlon Humphrey gets his third of the game. Two of them, in my opinion, have been BS. That one was tipped up to him. It was a battery anyway. I can't really complain. We have seven turnovers today. Just get the game over with, man. That is the game, 47 to 13. That was rough. We completely collapsed in the second half. And uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't even know really what to say. Uh, offense was particularly tough. Defense, I mean. I didn't really feel like he was that bad. Just sometimes they're going to score. That's a good thing. You want that. That's realistic. But RG3 was far too accurate comparatively to Josh Rosen. And I could not throw the ball accurately to save my life. So I'm going to tone down CPU accuracy. Maybe slightly buff user accuracy. Ingram was unbelievable. I guess one of those was a 76-yard run, though. So maybe he wasn't all the way. Uh, let's just look at the Dolphins, man. We couldn't run the ball to save our life. I kept trying. It kept not working. 
Kenny Stills looked all right, but Mike Kosicki was really the guy that we went to anytime we actually needed it you know, a completion. Jerome Baker all over the field. That's my user. Two tackles for loss. A sack for Tyus Bowser. Interceptions, two for Xavier Howard, one for Raekwon McMillan. That was a user pick. No force fumbles for us and uh, no touchdowns for us defensively. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'm going to make some changes. That will be shown in episode number four, which will be week two. So changes will be made at the start of next episode i'm telling you right now though in case you want to change it as well based on what i'm doing all madden cpu quarterback accuracy down pass blocking down run blocking i'm gonna leave the same for now and well you'll you'll see you'll see but thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed regardless of this result and i'll see you in the next one take it easy